Hey everybody and welcome to the monthly woo. So let's talk about September. One of the things that really struck me about September is that we have Venus moving into Scorpio and Mars will be in Libra. And this combination is what astrologers call mutual reception. So it, it, it can symbolize where Mars and Venus can be working together on a level, but because both of these planets are in signs where they are least strong or um, maybe like the, the darker aspects of Venus and Mars would be maybe coming out in these signs, it could also mean that we are gonna have opportunities to hash out some things in our relationships, both friendships, romantic work, that may have been sitting deep. Like resentment could really come up and out this month. And I, I think that this is important. Um, I know my own like history and past and relationships, like one of the most detrimental things is not so much what other people have done necessarily, but it's my inability to let go of the pain and um, the resentment. So let's jump in with our cards. I wanna start with our plant ally because we got Scottish primrose. The key word is compassion. I also love that this is the number seven. Seven, very much a number of connection with spirit. Um, it is a, a number that represents Neptune. And we do have, we're right now in the middle of a very intense Neptune and Mars uh, opposition, or is it a square? I think it's a square, which creates, um, you know, just a lot of emotional, in, in some ways, turmoil, but more like confusion. So when we're going into this month, compassion is going to be so key. Compassion for yourself, I think predominantly, and compassion for people who may disagree with you. You know, we're entering into a time where people are even more polarized than last year about what direction to move forward and what's right for the collective and what's right for individuals. And it's so imperative that we hold compassion for people who may believe differently than us, who may be taking different action than us. Um, I think also with Scottish Primrose, it can talk about how it, it represents an energy where if we can pause before we react to something that's been said or done, we have an opportunity to actually create more space in the situation and to create on the other side of that crisis or chaos, something even more beautiful for everyone involved. So it can also signal where there is um, new love that springs from, and this is friendship as well, not just romantic, that sp springs from coming together, um, uh, how do I say this? Coming together because you have a similar wound relating to someone on a deep level because you share a certain kind of pain or resentment that's meant to be healed this month. So it can mean new friendships, it can mean deepening friendships, right? But when we have, you know, at the end of the month, the end of September, Mercury and Libra will be going into retrograde. So we're, we're gonna be in the shadow phase really starting end of the second week. So there's gonna be some things that we're gonna wanna redo. Now also, Mercury is going to be in a square to Pluto. So this could mean like we've got a ton of like maybe secret information coming up. You're really going to have an opportunity by the time we get to really Halloween to truly get to the bottom of some things that maybe you've been confused about. You know, maybe this week there's some things that you're like, oh, I don't have all the information. I can't make a informed choice. But by October, when we get out of these squares and out of the retrograde, we'll be going into really a pretty intense eclipse season and you'll be able to act on the information you've garnered and make some probably pretty profound changes. I love when we get this card. This is Badger. Badger is such a powerful totem. It calls on us to really analyze what is the difference between assertion and aggressiveness. You know, assertion and aggressive. Aggression. <laughs> How are you expressing your will, your drive, your anger, right? Anger is not a bad and negative thing. It only becomes that way when we suppress it, when we sit on it, and then it becomes depression. It only becomes bad when we are aggressive with it and we hurt other people. 
Again, like I said in <laughs> the Patreon video for the last weekly woo, it really comes down to, it's as simple as don't be a dick, you know? You can fight for your rights. You can stand up for what you believe in. You can express your opinion. You can ask and request changes. Just don't be a dick. Now, Badger also talks about, you know, this fearlessness that comes in when we are acknowledging our feelings and our emotions, when we are connected to our feeling. We have a storm going on here. So if you hear things, it's actually like branches hitting my roof. Um, this this bit, very badger energy though, right? This idea of you are going to have an idea of where you want to be headed. And the message is to go for it. You know, we have this incredible new moon. I believe it's on the 6th and the 7th of September, depending on where you are on the planet. And it is incredibly auspicious to start things at that time. You know, even though we have some of these bigger planets in retrograde, all the personal planets are going forward. And it, it, it is a time to be fearless and bold. But Badger always reminds you, don't step on other people's toes. You can have everything you want without having to degrade, belittle, devalue, disrespect other people. And facts, like your fearlessness and your boldness can actually like help people rise to that level, your own vibration, which we're hoping is right higher and moving at a a rate of, well, creativity. When you're thinking about like, you know, what is the intention behind what you want? And I think this month, we're really gonna get an opportunity to work out if there, our intention is not pure, we're really gonna feel it. Now, sometimes with Mercury in Libra, I, you know, I have some family members who have Mercury in Libra and it's a, Libra in general, difficult to make a decision. So the good news is you may be you may be feeling that, but because we have this energy of Venus and Scorpio, you are actually gonna be able to get all the information you need to make an informed decision. So you may be confused now, but as the fall goes on, things will become more and more clear as to what you need to do to really access the vibration of to magnetize what you want. Our crystals this month, there were two that popped out. And I'm gonna, I'm, you know, soda light and malachite, but I wanna talk about malachite first. In some ways, mal this is almost the most important part of this reading. I don't wear malachite. I love it and I don't have it out in my space because malachite is like a catalyst, an instigator. It will catalyze what needs to come up and out. And if you're not really prepared for that, it can be like healing crisis. So this is like something you would use in doses as a crystal. Like if you know you're suppressing anger and sadness and grief, then it's definitely something to be working with. Um, but if you're not ready, right, you need to go slower doses. Uh, now it, it's interesting because I feel like also with Malachite, when you're working with it, if there are illnesses that you don't know what's causing it, and my belief is that everything physical starts emotionally first, starts energetically first, then Malachite is gonna show you what is the root of that issue, right? Your body is giving you messages from your soul. So each set of symptoms or uh, aches or pains or whatever it is, there's an underlying message to it. So this month, as we're in Virgo season, right? It is a time to listen to the body and allow it to speak to you. And if you do, you guys, I just really feel like there is an immense amount of physical, emotional, and spiritual healing that can happen in this month. But it does take a sense of fearlessness, right? Badger energy to go down into the depths. You know, I know for me for a long time, I just hated crying. I hated looking at my deeper emotions because I was so afraid that once I got into them, they'd never end and I'd never come out of it. But the only way out is through because if you're denying your emotions, this is when sickness, illness happens. So this month, 
we're being asked to look at what is getting in the way of us being able to be compassionate to ourselves and to others, no matter what they've done, no matter what we've done. And to really go deep, deep into your feels and letting them come up so that they can be released. So, so you can be making space. This brings me to then soda light. Soda light, it's blue. So it is, and it's, it's indigo blue, depending on where the soda light is coming from on, on the planet. So it's a combination of throat chakra and third eye chakra energy. This combination of the word being the wand speaking into existence what you are visualizing for yourself, what you truly want. But you don't want to be visualizing and manifesting unless you've done this fearless, emotional, and psychic healing work. Because if you haven't, you can be creating that which you don't want because you're so trying to deny that it's there. So let's talk about these affirmations because this is important. The Malachite affirmation is, I release all blockages to my well-being. Perfect health is restored to me now. This is a great thing to tap with EFT. This is also a great thing to be speaking out loud when you're working out, you're running, and you have that rhythm that's allowing the limbic system to release. Sodalite, its affirmation is, I am the creator of my reality. I use my imagination to visualize what I want in my life so it can then be realized. And again, you want to be creating and realizing from a high vibrational point. And we can't hold those higher vibrations if we're denying how we truly feel. This is a time in our relationships this month where we can really get to the bottom of why there is anger and resentment and conflict. You know, sometimes when you have a relationship and you're like everything on the surface, it's fine, but you know that underneath there's much to process. This month, if you're bad, your spirit brave, you can sit down with your loved ones and be like, hey, we could be on a much higher level with each other. We could have so much more compassion and love for each other. If we're willing to talk about the past and what's happened, if we're willing to forgive. This is across the board in any kind of relationship. And also in the relationship with yourself, like, what do you need to forgive so that you can, you know, move into this eclipse season and really make some massive up leveling moves? Because that's what this eclipse season is going to offer. And we get into next year, Jupiter goes back into Pisces. We are going to have some really auspicious energy to tap into. And if you're still harboring like ancient resentment and pain, it's going to be difficult to tap into that good luck you know, that good feeling energy. So, I want you guys to think about something that you may be encountering this month that you're gonna have to deal with this month that uh, is maybe bothering you now, maybe something you're confused about now. And I'm just gonna pull a card for us as a collective, those who are watching this video. Oh, wow, you guys. So, I think this really speaks to Badger Spirit, where, you know, the, the fear of your own depth, the fear of your own intensity, how can you fall in love with your own intensity? Because if you can this month, and really like sit with your feelings and allow the energy that Malachite represents of like that internal purging. You know, with Virgo energy, I always think of like colonics. <laughs> but this being like an emotional, spiritual, psychic colonic month where you can let go of so much so fast. And again, going back to like, you want that victory, but you want that victory. You want to feel that sense of pride, that sense of um, integrity in the victory. You didn't cheat your way there. You were your best self, right? And you, you were bold and fearless, but you weren't aggressive. 
you weren't a dick, right? At the end of the day, when we lay down, it's like, how good were you to yourself and others? Because that's what the universe is gonna reflect back to you. All right, I hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful September. And you know, lean into the feelings when they come because that's how then they can disperse, right? It's like they're visitors and they knock, 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 knock at the door. And if you ignore them, they just keep knocking and it gets louder and then like the wall comes down. But if you open the door and invite them in and like have tea, talk it out, then they dissipate. And they're like, okay, I got the attention I needed and I can go. And that's what we want. We want that those energies to be moving through us so that we have the opportunity to like, you know, there's great things coming. And you want to be able to rise to that occasion and hold that higher vibration. So much light coming into the planet right now. It's so hard to avoid the leveling up. But if you want to hold on to anger and resentment, it can pass you by. So who do you need to have compassion for? And please start with yourself. Thanks so much for viewing, you guys.